I'm doing that because it's so cold. It's so cold. Um, good afternoon. Hi guys, Todd here and all that jazz. And yes, I've, I've had my ears lowered just a little bit. Um, it's been a, it's been a while. It, it has actually been a while. It's been a few weeks since I've done a vlog. Um, there is a reason for that. I have an excuse and um, it's, it's an excuse. It's, yeah, it's an excuse. Uh, but before we do that, some general housekeeping. Be warned. Um, phones may go off. Dogs may bark. Uh, you may hear my neighbours putting their bin out. Um, and the, the general over mm, quality of uh, the white balance and so on may be very bad. Uh, but you should be used to that by now. Uh, so, right. Uh, what? Why? Why, why haven't I done a vlog for a while? Okay, the reason why is I'm lazy. <laughs> I'm so lazy. For those of you that don't know, uh, I did kick off the whole YouTube uh, members thing. Um, so I have the one tier. I have a 199 tier, 199 per month. And um, basically what I did was I used to do my unboxings, so whenever anything comes in, um, I would unbox it live with my Facebook group. And uh, we would have giveaways and things like that as well. Uh, and then um, there was a suggestion from a, a young man, another reviewer, um, you know, why why don't you do that um, via the, the YouTube member thing? And um, I thought, why not? So, as of right now, I, I think I've got about 180, and um, what? I, I've, I've no reason to hide the numbers, or I don't really care, um, but there's about 180, and um, I get 70% of that money, and that 70% of money pretty much has been spent in the two months I think it's been going for now, uh, on postage. <laughs> it's because this this pile here, um, uh, basically there's like two giveaways or I, th I think it feels like that it's been a couple of giveaways every week where we are just giving away stuff and um, and so the, the people that win it they don't pay for postage or anything and I just post it out um, also I've with some of the money uh, I've bought gear um, or it's gone towards buying gear for review uh, so I am there's, there's no money from this going into my pocket as such um, but I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it mainly because it's there's a lot of people that don't like Facebook, uh, and so and there's people that I've known through YouTube comments for some years that have joined up. So uh, I'm enjoying. It. Here comes the plane. See, I told you there's nothing professional going on here. Uh, so the problem is, is that I am doing lives nearly every day every day or three days that kind of thing so when I go to do a vlog I, I kind of lose track because I've already said a lot of this stuff already and I, and I forget uh, and plus the stuff for review just now has been coming through in dribs and drabs and I've not had much stuff to show off during uh, a vlog and I just sound like I'm whinging now um, or moaning I'm not I'm sorry I don't like complaining about stuff or talking about, yeah, life's too short. But that's the reason that I've not done many, much in the way of vlogs. Um, move on, move on. I'll let other people complain about stuff. I don't have much to complain about in life. I'm very lucky. Uh, the second batch of the har, uh, the, the har, that I did with Van and Dale, um, uh, her Vanya and Sasha, Two extremely good-looking men, especially for Croatians, because you know not many people know this, but the Croatians normally aren't that very good-looking. But Sasha and Vanya are extremely handsome. Um, so second batch has gone out, and um, I hope that people are. The feedback has been positive. Um, not all the feedback has been positive, as is the way. Some people like things, some people don't. Um, but we take the rough with the smooth. But the, the general feedback seems to be very positive. 
I did enjoy. Uh, we we didn't send any any review samples out at all for the first batch. Uh, we didn't sell it, send anything out, uh, mainly because um, Vanya and Sasha don't like giving away things for free. It just goes against the grain for them. Um, uh, but uh, we managed to squeeze two free sample kits. Uh, one went to Mr. Bissardo and the other one went to Matt Cully. Uh, Mr. Bissardo's review was a highlight for me. Um, it wasn't entirely positive. It was, but it was positive on, on the whole. And um, and the, the critiques, the f constructive feedback he gave, he's perfectly entitled to. And I do agree with some of it as well. Uh, but that's the guy that I used to sit and watch when I started doing this stuff. Um, I mean, it was March 2012. And I was sitting here, not here, but I was sitting in the office with my little Reva battery and, and a cartomizer like that, watching um, Phil and watching I Get Your 69, Scott, uh, what just amazed by their videos and, and I, I, I consumed so much content and it was through their videos that I got into the hobby. Um, so actually watching Phil actually taking something that I was involved with, the bits and doing his thing, was... Um, yeah, it was up there with my highlights of my vaping life. Um, dead chuffed, dead chuffed. Um, but so that's 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 where we are with the har. And um, yes, obviously you can. No, I'm not doing the sales thing. Go and watch a review. Go and watch a review. If you like the review, if you like what you see, then you can maybe buy it. And um, if you buy it, I get £1.23 from each sale, and that keeps me in hair dye and uh, slim fast. Uh, right, moving on. Moving on. I do have, uh, I purchased uh, a Danny die codes side by side. Uh, I bought that from the Scrape guys in Switzerland, uh, and I bought the 22mm cone as well. So that should be here next week. So there will be a review for that coming. So that's the Danny. I also bought, not for review, but I, I, I bought the Danny for review, but I bought for myself. Um, if you remember, we gave away the the Limelight Freehand and the Leon RDA. Um, well, the, the Freehand that I gave away, I got for review and... I, and I really liked it. I really liked my regulated freehand and I kind of missed it um, since I gave it away. And uh, so I went and bought one. <laughs> uh, but I asked uh, Dan at uh, Limelight to make me one. So he's made it. And can I actually, hang on. I'm, I'm not entirely set up here for um, sharing stuff and so on. As usual, I don't put much thought into doing my vlogs. I just wing it. Um, oh, we do. We might. We might. Ha we might have a photo here. You never know. Uh, if I can think of, <laughs> can't share that photo. <laughs> there we go. Uh, it's a, a bogwood, um, Siberian, and uh, that. Yeah, that's just there uh, when he was finished sanding it and so on. So, so that is is yes. I'm I'm pretty damn excited about that to be honest. Um, so that's a couple of things that are coming in. Uh, I've got quite a lot of gear up here to review. I don't know if you're going to... Are you interested in a lot of this stuff? I don't know. Um, and, and a lot of this... I'll tell you what. I'm going to do some bouncing up and down here and grabbing stuff. So rather than seeing me bouncing up and down, I'm just going to move the camera to there and, and we'll start off quickly with this one. So this came in today. Uh, this is, is, this is, what is this? This is the Trishol V2 Make Mod by Hellvape. Um, and it's a 25, it's, I've got a 21700 
uh, battery in there just now. 25 millimeters in diameter up the top. This is a Druga V2, which is 24 millimeters. I am a bit disappointed by the, can you see the, the micro scratches on that? I'm a bit disappointed by the finishing on this, to be honest, out of the box. But the uh, magnetic switch and, um, and it's got a fancy floating permanent contact system going on here. So you can see here that, I'll just pop that off just now. This spongy bit here, so that's going to take out any, you know, if your battery is oversized or slightly longer or shorter, this will accommodate it. You push your firing button. So that's coming up like that, and that's going to hit off the bottom of this, which is going to be permanently in contact with your battery. Uh, and they're like that. But it's got a quite a... It's, don't get me wrong. I mean, it, it seems to perform quite well, but it's it's quite a... I would consider it quite a stiff switch. Uh, it's almost like an on-off switch. Um, so so there is that. That's that's going to be getting a review. Um, what else is going to be getting a review? And um, This isn't going to be getting a review, but I have to show you this anyway, because it's my baby. Um, there is a young man in Canada uh, who is very, very good to me. Um, in fact, he spoils me rotten, and uh, I love him to bits for it. So, I, a lot of you will know that this is my Delro, or this is one of my Delros. In fact, can I do this? Hang on. <laughs> I'm going to get so much hate for this. Uh, there's another one. Uh, so, I love these. I, I, I absolutely... This this one here uh, is my most used mod of all time, uh, hands down. Um, so this one uh, went back and this got fully refurbished, um, fully refurbished and it's split new. It's like brand new now. Uh, so this will be going up for a charity raffle. This is going up for a charity raffle. Um, I'm going to put a vape snail, vape shell, vape shell with it. And um, I'll see if, I think I've got some doors and panels I can put with this as well. Um, so that's going up for charity. And, and that was agreed with Justin as well. I spoke to him and asked if he would mind because that was a gift. Um, but he also sent me not that one, not that one, not that, oh, he's a doggy. Um, <laughs> so he's doing all these coloured ones now. Uh, the, I'm pretty sure it's an acrylic. Um, because this is, obviously this is your normal Delrin bodied and uh, this is, oh, that side. I'm not very good at this presentation stuff, am I? So it's it's all changed up a bit. Uh, so th this one I got a couple of weeks ago and I've been vaping non-stop with it. Um, the differences, uh, well, the main, the main one is, is, look at this. See how the actual board is actually under this acrylic here? It's actually underneath it where this window was exposed. So, that, so that's, you can see it's just come on there. Um, as you can see the battery through it, see through. Um, I'm pretty sure it all, you know, we're on a U. This is uh, on a USB C here as well. Uh, I don't think any of my other ones had a USB C. No, none of them. They were all micros. So he's using a USB C as well now. I'm not sure what the charge rate is on this. It will be something um, going on the older Delros. It's a high charge rate. So. You know, if I remember right, was it a 16 or an 1800 milliamp hour battery? I don't know if he's increased that, but you know, even if the battery run, I get a full tank of juice <laughs> through mine before the battery gets near dead. Uh, but yeah, you can charge it in like 40 minutes and it's ready to go. It's it's insane. And that is why I like my Delro so, so much. Um, and it's not pink, it's red. And it's also not firing. There we go. So
Superb. Uh, and as um, Justin's got his own bridge as well that he sells now, uh, and that bridge does the. Hang on. It'll do those coils. It'll do the vapor wrestle coils. It does Vupu coils. It does a whole heap of different coils. The bridge. Um, it's quite a fancy little bridge. It's a good one. Uh, I'll not lie, though, however, my weakness or my preference for my Deros has always been and probably always will be is uh, the little stock uh, EUC coils. 0 0.5 ohm ceramics. Last for ages. Great flavour. And they've just been my go-to coil for the, the Delro for as long as I've had one, which is almost well over a year and a half now that I've been vaping with one. So there you go. There's there's a bit of a gush. Is, is it a gush fest? Yes, it's a gush fest. Um, but uh, th there's going to be... Yeah, you can win one. And you know how hard it is to get a hold of one of these little bad boys. So could be yours for a pound. I was going to do the whole uh, subscribe, like, follow, hit the bell, uh, but ignore that. Keep an eye on my YouTube channel because in about a week's time there will be a video goes up that tells you how to win it. In saying that, I don't know if I'm going to do the Delro this month because uh, there is a rather small man, smaller than me, uh, but he's extremely good looking, uh, it has to be said, and he's very sexy, uh, uh, it, it's, or so I hear. He has made a, a mod specifically for one of the charity raffles, and uh, he's even engraved it with The Shed which is, is it, obviously you get the Shed reference. It's also the name of my Facebook group. Um, it's the Seduce uh, by Vulcan. Uh, v young Victor. And it is, it should be here soon. Should be here soon. But gee damn, it's absolutely gorgeous. And uh, yeah. The amount of money that's been raised this year um because we will hit £25,000 this year. The vast majority of that is because of what mod makers and uh, certain vendors have donated. Um, so thank you to all of them. And uh, Victor, thank you once again. And Justin, very sexy men. Uh, so there's that. Um, also, I'm going to say uh, John Connolly. John Connolly, uh, I don't know if you watch these. Uh, if you do, then love you to bits. Uh, I met up with the Dominic, uh, a vaping friend, and uh, he gave me this. Uh, this was uh, sent, uh, passed on uh, from him to me, uh, but it was the Flexi. Um, now, I've seen this for sale, uh, the Flexi. It's uh, an 18650, and... Um, you can you can also you know take this to bits dead easy, but you get a DNA sixty module for it as well, a DNA sixty module for it. But this is just the mech one, and and I've been playing with this, and um, it's actually we'll put a tank on it just now just to show you. Screw this down. This is the is it the ninth? Is it the ninth? It's called by um, oh, damn it. The, the ninth by Aspire and No Name Mods. This was sent on by Young Alex at Cheeky Vape in the UK. Thank you, sir. Uh, I've got the RBA section in just now. I've got a rebuildable section. Or it uses the, the coils for the the APX coils, I think it is. But uh, So that's the Flexi. I'm having... Um, I'm not going to say... I'm having issues... Not issues as much, but uh, I, I'm, I'm finding that the 510 in it is it's not very, um, it's quite long, actually. Hang on, I'm just going to get a screwdriver here, just whilst I'm talking to myself. Uh, I 
can only take it down so far. If I take it down too far, then the the positive uh, contact ring round in, inside here starts moving about. But, uh, you know, for example, that's as low as it'll go. If I take my, sorry, it's covered in lip gunk, it's covered in juice, and it's disgustingly dirty. Oh, it's going down. Oh, oh, hang on. Oh, I may have cured. Oh, I could be totally wrong with my opinion. Well, I may, ha I may have to eat humble pie. That's sitting flush. I was having an issue when I was trying it yesterday that the, can you see the, the positive pin there? And there's like a, 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 a ring round that pin in there. Well, what was, what was happening was that that ring, which is connected to the button, um, was making, was loose and it was rattling about. Uh, but it seems to be bang on the button now. Oh, good. Oh, I take, a, I take back what I was thinking. The only other thing I'm not a fan of on this, and, and I probably will review this, uh, is the fact that this is tapered around here at the bottom. So when you thread it on like that, it almost looks like the this isn't flush because it's tapered down to the so uh, not, uh, I'm, I'm kind of yeah, not made my mind up on this one, but I'm not having a lot of luck so far. Uh, speaking of other uh, mechs and side by sides, we do have this. The, oh God, I've forgotten the name. The Mech Cider. The Mech Cider? Yes. Yes, Mech Cider. Um, this to me is very, very pretty. I do like this. It's covered in, uh, it's a bit of a dust catcher in there, I must admit. Uh, but it's a nice bit of gear. This is a Mech once again. Uh, but the, these guys also do the Experiment 3. This is an Italian mod and a, the, they sent on their uh, mouth to lung RTA also, which obviously is a perfect fit. So there'll be a review coming for both of these down the line. Um, the only thing I will say, please, everybody in Italy, listen, this is very important. When you send out RTAs, you have to make sure there's no machine oil on them. This upsets me a great deal. And um, it's not just Italians. There's lots of mod makers and things like that that do that. It just so happens that the past two Italian RTAs that I've had in... <laughs> They've been pretty bad for machine oil. Uh, hang on, excuse my arm, just there a second. I'll pop this back up here. Uh, I'll grab that, because you need to see that. Uh, this did uh, arrive. Here's we've got another pod system. The next chip, um, this is, is it OFTR or, or oh, hang on, it was written on it. OFRF. It's, the, it's a, a sister company of Otofo basically. Um, so this is their upside down. There we go. 10 watts. It's a, it's a basic little thing. It's just a little pod system. Um, I didn't know it was coming till it arrived, but uh, there's your air holes there. Obviously you can close this down and I'm only on 10 watts just now. And It's not super tight, as in that kind of stuff, but it, it is, yeah. For most people, it, it will be a mouth to lung. Which takes me on to a comment. Um, now, where is it? This is neither a rant. I am not having a go at anybody here. I am, um, it's somebody leaving feedback on a video and it's vaping with James. Uh, James, I don't know if you'll see this buddy, uh, but it, can I share that? Yeah. So James, uh, he's been a subscriber to my channel for a long time, blah, de, blah, de, blah, de, blah. So basically he's saying that uh, once upon a time I used to say mouth to lung was this way. And now I'm saying that mouth to lung is that way. So when did I decide 
a proper mouth to lung tank being tanks with the airflow so very restricted compared to older tanks you consider a good mouth to lung vape so he's saying I've, I've basically changed um, do you know people change opinions change I honestly um, hand on heart uh, I could do what some reviewers just do and just, you, listen I'm the professional here I know what I'm talking about and doing but I'm not like that um, it's as simple as this okay uh, the, 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 if I have steered you wrong in any purchase James then I humbly apologise I, I, I truly do apologise um, because I am not conscious of changing my opinion on what is mouth to lung what's direct lung and what's restricted direct lung in fact there was no such thing as restricted direct lung. You just had mouth to lung and direct lung at one point. We never spoke about restricted direct lung. Uh, I can't even remember when that came on the scene. Um, for me, right, uh, and I did this in my live video at lunchtime here. So here's a, a juggernaut, okay? Can you see the air holes on that? Now one of these holes is, is not drilled out. This is a tiny, tiny wee air hole in that. So when I take a draw on this, that's for me, what I would consider a mouth to lung. In the true sense, in what we called mouth to lung back in the day, my cheeks are going in. So I call, I call that a proper, it feels like to me a 0 0.8 which is what I would consider in the proper mouth to lung. That's my opinion. That That's just my take on it. That's how I feel about it. It doesn't mean it's right. It's just how I feel about it. Um, modern pods came along and and that like that one I just showed to you there. Um, when I take a draw on this, this feels like what we would have called direct lung back in the day. But it's not. In modern terms, this is what they would call a mouth to lung. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know what to say. To me, there's there's clearly... The problem is, is that a lot of mouth to lung users are, I was going to say, very anal or, or they're very precise because when you... There's a huge difference between going... There's a huge difference in the mouth to lung realm of things because the difference between a 0 0.8 and a 1 mil is a lot more than on the other side of the scale. Um, it's going to be mouth to lung restricted direct lung or direct lung. What I try to do when we're in either of these areas is say it's going to be a tight, proper mouth to lung, mouth to lung or a loose mouth to lung. Loose, restricted direct lung, restricted direct lung and a tight restricted direct lung and the same for direct lung I have a th almost three categories for each segment once again I don't hand on heart I don't in my head think that I have changed my opinion or how I've measured it over the years I really don't I probably have times have changed my vaping preferences have changed. Sometimes it can go a few weeks before I go back to mouth to lung. Sometimes I might not use direct lung for month, weeks on end as well. Uh, I, yeah. Either way, I will say again, if I've steered you wrong in any purchase because your expectation from me was that that meant that, then I'm sorry. But, as I say in all my reviews, underneath every review in the description, always go and watch other videos and, and get feedback from other people. Just please never ever base your purchase on my opinion. Um, I don't value my opinion that much. So you should always go and check out other people's. Um, but James, I, I, I do appreciate you taking the time to, put the feedback in there and ask the question um i should have just told you to get pumped that would have been more fun because <laughs> it's always fun winding people up <laughs> um actually in saying that while we're talking about feedback 
Uh, is it, uh, can I? We're talking about constructive feedback and things here. And um, it's not always the case. I mean, we have, uh, I, I hope he watches this. I hope he watches this. Uh, Salim Babasha, Salim Babasha, I think, I think. Thank you for the review. As an ex vaping expert, vapor expert, do you re recommend this RDTA or Pyro V3 for flavor chaser? I'm not a vaping expert. I'm not. I am most definitely not a vaping expert. And uh, so why the fact are you reviewing vape things? <laughs> <I'm nervous. laughs> Thank you, thank you. Uh, that made my day. That really did. Uh, I I love comments like that where people just get wired in there. Um, I'm not a vaping expert. I've used a lot of vaping tools. I've used a lot of vaping mods, atties, devices over eight and a half years, hundreds and hundreds of them. Doesn't make me an expert, mate. In no way, um, and I've never claimed to be an expert. And my description for every video states that I'm not an expert. I just share my opinion on it. Um, that's why I don't do recommendations and stuff. Watch the video on that atty or that product. Listen to what I have to say or watch the video for up close segment. But then that's it. It's I'm not an expert. In my head, I am, possibly. But I know that I'm not. Um, so that's, that's what were we talking about? Here, actually, look at my dog. That's much more interesting than anything I've got to say. Um, I need to put some of this stuff back. Is there anything else I need to show you? I don't think so. There's there's more there's more stuff coming for review. Um, oh, I do, actually. Hang on. Oh, no, I can't. Because I'm not allowed to show you until it's review time or until um, Geek Vape themselves actually do their presentation. So there's something in a box here from Geek Vape that um, I will be showing you before long. Yes, in other news, uh, this also arrived. The Chroma Z. Uh, now I have to stop chewing my drip tips, I really do. Uh, the Chroma Z. Reviews from American reviewers for as far as the eye can see. Um, the problem was there's that um, they were releasing the, the MI-18, is it the MI-18 pod was being released here as the same time this was being released over in the States. So UK reviewers never got this until last week. Um, even though reviews are all over the place. So the, the whole UK say we're a bit behind on this one. But uh, I think they're now in the UK shop, so you can get them. So if you're interested, yeah, go and watch the reviews and buy one if you want. Uh, I will say the mouth to lung on this is not half bad at all. Uh, if you have the Aries 2 RTA, then the Aries 2 RTA, which is, is very good, I think it's very good, and it's got a good mouth to lung, this feels just a little bit, tiny tiny little bit looser than it but it's still a good mouth to lung it's basically the chroma with an internal battery 3000 milliamp hour uh, internal battery which is superb uh, it's this whole bar is your firing system once again um and here we go I do like it. Uh, there will be a review coming for this, but yeah, if you like the look of that, then just go and buy it. The only thing I will say to you right now is that if you know the Chroma, uh, I think it was a zinc alloy body, though well, this is kind of the same. This feels so light compared to to the, the other Chroma. It feels It almost feels really cheap light it feels that, that that's the only main thing that bothers me about it is how light it feels also there is because this is your firing button here there's movement in this here oh no tell a lie 
Oh, it's not the bar. It's the actual buttons here. But if I put my fingers on the buttons, no rattle. So it's, it's these buttons here that are, are, are rattling away. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Uh, USB-C as well, and a nice mouth to lung, and obviously you can use all the usual coils in it. You don't have to use it mouth to lung. And there is a 510 adapter plate for it as well, which I have been using. And, uh, and that's that for that. Um, other things that are possibly worth mentioning. Let's say I've got other. I do have a couple of pods and some Chinese gear. I've also got more of your mid range, your more expensive gear between now and New Year for review. Uh, so that'll keep me going. Um, and as always, I do like to mix it up. I don't like to just be reviewing posh stuff. Uh, I, I, I really don't. Don't get me wrong, I love the posh stuff, but um, I, I like to just keep my channel kind of across the board, if you like. Um, there we go. I'm not going to talk about politics or um, COVID or anything like that, because that's what the news is for. Um, but uh, I shall now bugger off, and uh, I will uh, see you hopefully soon. Hopefully you're going to watch the next review that comes up. And once again, um, please keep an eye on the channel for the next charity giveaway uh, or charity raffle. It's not a giveaway where you can win something very rare, very beautiful for one pound. Um, and, and thank you once again to every modder vendor that has supported me this year. Can't wait. The other thing I'm going to mention is that uh, Vasily, my lovely little... Greek friend, um, where's the skyline R? Yeah, where is it? It's it's the nineteenth of November, mate. You said it was going to be twenty twenty, and and I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting. Um, that is the one thing that re this year, I God, I have so missed my vape events the expos and things that like I've so missed. I mean, it really has been, whilst 2020 has a, a lot of downs, um, the biggest one for me is not getting to events. Uh, that has hurt. The other one is is not getting over to Athens to see Vasilia and Rula and whatnot and get to the machine shop and see the new tank that he's making because I, I love catching up with those guys. And yeah, that one hurt this year, really did. But uh, there you go. There's still the Skyline R to come this year. And uh, as always, I'm sure from the eSmoke Guru guys, it will be, it better be superb or I'll kick his ass. It's as simple as that. <laughs> That's me. I'm done. Uh, we shall catch up with you very, very soon. Bye for now.